What is it? It's a doll. Look, what is it? It's a robot. Look, what is it? It's a teddy bear. It's a doll. It's a robot. It's a teddy bear. Look, what is it? It's a train. Look, what is it? It's a bike. Look, what is it? It's a balloon. My name is Sasha, and welcome back to church. I'm sure that you guys have lots of stories about how you have been brave like Ray had this past week. Anyway, welcome back. Yay! This is my favorite ball. I like how it bounces. I am so strong that I can keep this ball all the way to the moon. You ready? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, I can't kick this ball all the way to the moon because there's a roof. But I can lift up this a thousand times. Ready? One. that I can do a trillion jumping jacks. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm getting tired now. I don't think I can do a gazillion jumping jacks. How else can I show you guys how strong I am? Hmm. Well, while I'm thinking, you guys go and enjoy worship and the memory verse.
to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 verse 8. My God is strong. He'll do anything big or small. Nothing is impossible for a super wonderful God. Every day I can know God is always there. Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel, and here we have a very good and very true story from the Bible. Right here. It is a story about a very special person. It was a king. This king was looking for a queen. He looked everywhere and made other people look everywhere for the most beautiful queen ever. And they found her. Her name was Esther. What was her name? Yes, the king was so happy they got married straight away. There was also a very, very not nice person. His name was Haman. What was his name? Yes, Haman worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, Haman had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family that loved God very much. One day, Haman told the king that he should get rid of the group of, whole group of people, God's people. Now, when Esther heard of this, he was, she was very upset. The king didn't know that Haman's plan would hurt God's people or Esther's family and friends. Esther knew she couldn't let this happen. Esther loved God with her whole heart, but going to the king to ask for help would be very, very scary. She knew that she might get in trouble to see the king without being invited. But God was with Esther, 
And she knew that he would make her so, so strong. So Esther asked the king to go to dinner, and the king agreed. It was at dinner that Esther asked the king to save her family and friends. And guess what? The king said yes, he would save God's people. Esther's family and friends were safe. Esther knew that God was always with her, and she made her very strong. And God can make you strong too. Now, tell me, who is always with you? Yes, he is. Turn to a friend and say it. Who is always with you? No matter where you go, no matter what you do, you can be strong because God is with you. Okay, friends, it's time to pray and talk to God. God, you're so strong. You're the strongest. Thank you for making us strong too. And you're just so awesome. I would love to, I love, love to pray to you and give you a lot of praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friends. Bye. Wow. God gave Esther the strength to do the right thing. I don't need to be strong to kick this ball all the way to the moon. And I don't need to be strong to carry this weight. I don't need to be strong to do a thousand jumping jacks. God is my strength. I think I got the story now. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Awesome. Have an amazing Sunday. Bye. Remember, God is your strength. Wait, one more thing. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Crazy Mike, and I'm crazy. I'd like to tell you about a new project that we can get involved in as a church. But first, let me introduce myself properly to the adults. Children know me very well as Crazy Mike because I do everything crazy. So adults, get your seatbelts on because this is going to be crazy. Come with me. I want to teach you. Hmm. Look what I have over here. This is what we are going to be getting involved in as a church to support cost. First off, you need to know how to garden and Crazy Mark is going to show you. Okay, first of all, make sure you got some nice garden gloves that fit. And then, get all the tools you have. We're going to be getting involved in what Cost calls the Farming Project. We are partnering with someone called Sewing Smiles Sunflowers. Come with me. Get close. I've got my stuff. I've got a pot. <laughs> These gloves are useless. What we have to do is get fertile soil. Fertile soil. For those of you who don't know, me, Crazy Mark, I go to spa for my food. But lots of people, they have to plant their food. So. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be spending 100 Rand to get hold of one of these packets who are full of seeds. Then we're going to get some fertile soil. It's going to be fertile, very rich in nutrients. <laughs> yes, we're going to rake it. We're going to get it all ready for action. All right, we need a... Um, wait, oh, I forgot. On the back, there's instructions. These instructions say, plant in spring or summer, uh, sow three millimeters into the soil, germinate for five days, and harvest in 90 days, three months. So in three months time, we're gonna have sunflowers, which we can give to the world to sow smiles. But the 100 Rand, well, that goes to help people grow food with cost. So let me carry on. First of all, we break it. Now we have spread it out and got it firm. We have to dig our hole three millimeters. Remember, I've got this this hole. I think it's a hole plunge. I'm sure this is three millimeters. Come closer. Tell me three mils. Three mils. I think that's three mils. Then we've got to open our. So 
something small as possible. Make sure the seed's all at the bottom. Go carefully, go easily. Ooh, beautiful. How many per hole? Well, I don't know. I think we should rather put them in a fire, but this will work. Let's leave that there, Candy. Then we have to put the three mils back. Well, apparently three mils back. Get it going. Get together, everyone. Cover it over. Give it a bit of love. And then, last but not least, as you know, gardens need water. So, let's get some water. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's a lot of water. Hey, okay, that's enough, bud. Okay, that's enough. Settle, settle, settle. Bring you a bit closer. A little bit more. That's better. But you've wet the whole, you've wet the whole place, bud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, come closer. Bud, bud, settle. This is my friend, bud, and he is also crazy. So what we want to do is we want to plant and then in 90 days we want to harvest and we want to sow smiles but first grab your hundred rand your hundred rand and buy your from cost and let's join in and change the farming community in kzn come on church we can do it that's crazy mark and bud we love you